probably one of the most interesting things that I've come across in teaching this class really is you. We're looking now on the thing called the Futures Projects. And here, I want you to take the knowledge you've learned in this class. This is a little bit like a capstone project just for this class. I want you to project things out in the business world 30 years from now, in the year 2050. So that being said, we got 12 different opportunities where you get to explore something. Now, there's a couple of reasons for this. Number one, the future really is fascinating to me, and I hope it is to you as well. It's a place we all hope to live in. The other part is it really gives you 30 years to extrapolate from here to 30 years from now, you may find your own career pathway and your real passion by studying this project. So what is the world that you are gonna create in 30 years? Well, let's talk about 12 things where we see things truly happening out there. That is what this project is all about. And we have a couple of things. There's different ways to present. You can do a group presentation on an MP4 or movie file. You can do a group paper. You can do an individual presentation or an individual paper there's really four ways to present this as an opportunity. All of them are really good in the process. There's more details in Canvas how to go about exactly doing those kind of presentations. Here, I'm gonna talk about the 12 topics. First, artificial intelligence. I went to a conference and what I heard was by the year 2030, 43% of all the jobs in San Bernardino County, California, just a few miles away, but it's also the largest county in the United States, that 43% of them will have an impact going from moderate to extreme as to how artificial intelligence will be actually having impact on their jobs. People will be losing their jobs because of artificial intelligence. Maybe our world will get better, don't know, but at least this is certainly an interesting thing. Surprisingly, the people most being impacted on artificial intelligence will be people in the computer industry, go figure. Autonomous cars. This is supposed to be a $7 trillion field, a market by 2050. This technology is going to affect everybody in our lifetime. So some claim that we don't even need to have cars, garages, or fuel stations by 2050. We can just turn our garages into big gyms to work out on a regular basis. Sounds interesting. You book the car, show up at your front door, take you off to work while you're working a computer, drive you home. Maybe you can buy your own autonomous car and just sit back, have my ties over by the ocean, and as your car goes out and does the work for the day for you. Clean energy. It's even bigger than autonomous cars. Some people say the numbers, according to Forbes, is that by 2050, we're looking at a total cost of $131 trillion. I put that trillion with a capital T to reach the clean energy goals we have today. It entails primarily solar power, wind power, even hydroelectric power, everything that's totally renewable and clean. There's other technologies out there on the horizon as well. This is certainly not only an interesting project, but it's also a project that will do a couple of things. Number one, impact you. Number two, if the really the dollar figure is 131 trillion, it will probably have some kind of impact into your work life, clean energy. Drone delivery systems, we're gonna see these floating down our streets pretty soon, probably in the next two or three years. What is that gonna be? It's gonna transform our lives. Are we gonna to have to have a landing pad somewhere on our property so a drone can fly by, drop a package off and take off as it go through? Do we have to leave a tip for the drone to make certain that we get better service next time they show up? That being said, there, there's a, a video out there in 2016, a towner in Australia had it, and they had all kinds of people for and against the drones. Are we going to have that too? Drones can be very noisy. So are people going to sit down to take their slingshots out and shoot them out of the sky? Who knows what will happen on the drones, but either way, it will be interesting. It's going to be a major change in our lifestyle as we have drones bringing our pizzas to our front doors or maybe the back door. Future house. Future house, they'll be very different in 2050. Are you going to have a robot in your kitchen flipping over your pancakes for you in the morning when you first get up and have your first cup of coffee? You're going to have some kind of an android walking down the hallway, picking up the toys that the dog or the kid left laying around. What's going to be like on the future house when we have different aspects of it? Will the house record everything we do? Will you be able to hear things, have a classroom only from home? Will you have to even go out to go to school? How about work? Let's explore future house in the process. 
nanotechnology, what an awesome world. It runs a whole gamut of different things from automotive. You can change the paint color on your car from bright red to black if you want to by pushing the button on nanotechnology. It puts a pulse through your car and all of a sudden all these nanobots in your thing can change color instantly like that. It can also repair dings and dents in your car as well as you go through. Tiny robots, some visible only to microscopes, can be injected into our bloodstreams to solve different diseases we may have in the process. So that being said, it goes from medical technology to factory work all the way to the use in cars or other things that we have. Rideshare, there's in eight years, we've had companies deliver over 10 billion rides. That's incredible. It really had changed the world that we go through. It's a disruptive force as we go through and ride share. Robots, they've already impacted the lives of human beings, assembly lines, so they have often more robots assembly products than humans. Some claims that factories in the future will operate totally in the dark with robots scurrying around doing the bidding of other machines. It's actually coming, coming to your neighborhood soon. Hopefully not to your neighborhood walking down the street. Robots, okay, v virtual reality and augmented reality. Now we're in the gaming phase, but that said, we're already past that. We have some of the big tech companies now watching this area because it's reached the medical field. We have all kinds of different aspects of virtual reality and augmented reality to supplement our lives. By 2030 even, are we gonna be walking down the street with the old Google glasses revised so we can see entire screen watching people's faces, delivering data right there on the lenses of our glasses that only we can see. It's gonna be an interesting world. This is just beginning in its infancy. It's going past gaming into everyday life as we go through virtual reality, neural interfaces. Behind this, a few years back, we are going through in the human brain and putting mesh on top of the brain to sit down there and short circuit people who were having massive migraine headaches. That's gone into something different, into now neural interfaces. A few months early in the year 2021, Elon Musk was in Germany recruiting people for his new company plans and starting on neural interfaces. Some people say it's going to be a net on top of the brain. Maybe in 2050, you can sit down and just upload something into your neural interface into your brain and take a course like Management One. Intro to business by Dr. David Bouguet, sitting down there and download the whole thing overnight and say, whoa, his jokes are really funny. I can't believe how funny he was in that thing. Remember, hopefully we'll see what happens. Maybe your humor will be worked by that. Who knows? Okay, but that's a inter neural interfaces. Some people say we may get nanobots injected in bloodstream and the nanobots will sit down there and increase the overall coverage inside the brain and move up the speed of our thought processes to assimilate more information more rapidly. Who knows what will happen? What an interesting field. Space, the final frontier. We now have people just flying out of space because they can instead of having some kind of scientific mission. So that means that if you have the money, hop on your, your Blue Origin, hop on your, your Branston Air process, the Virgin Galactic in the process. Who knows what's going to be out there in the days to come Elon Musk wants to go to Mars. And you know what? I think he's going to do it. They're looking with the government's already leased out contracts for moon landings by the year 2024. If Elon Musk is involved, he's never hit one deadline of his plans. And maybe, so maybe 2025. Mars landings, 2030. Maybe you can be a colonist. If you do, drop me a line, preferably a postcard stamped at the Mars post office. Create your own future. This project is about business. The business of the future. Somebody said that the top 10 selling products 10 years from now do not even exist today. So who knows what the world's gonna be like in 2030, 40, and 50, but no matter what happens, we all know that it's gonna be very different from what we have today. So here, think, dream, and create the world you want it to become. Looking forward to your projects shortly. It'll be awesome. I'm certain. Use your imagination. Extrapolate the future that you want it to be, especially in the field that you really can find passion. Take care.